Coach three seed on the bracket. You get to play at home. You have to be excited. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just excited to be back in the tournament, to have an opponent. You know, it's, it's hard to practice when you don't have an opponent. And, you know, Wichita State is a really good team. They had a really good season. And uh, I'm excited to play them. What, what is exciting about this time of year? You see your name on the bracket. Mm -hmm. You know it's winter going home. Why is this so fun? Well, I, I think because of the majesty of it all. You know, there's only 64 teams in the country that get invited. And it's, you know, they, you reveal the brackets on national TV and everybody's gathered around. It's like, you know, it's like Christmas in March, you know, and um, everybody wants to be playing in this tournament and we get an opportunity to compete. Um, so we're just excited about being part of it and uh, just happy that, you know, we got a seed that reflects the body of work that we had over the course of the season. And, and that's what's important. What do you feel like are a couple of things your team needs to do well to advance into the tournament? What are, what are a few things you think you need to do? Well, I think we definitely have to uh, be good defensively, you know, and as, um, you know, we, we, we know get, getting in the NCAA tournament, you're going to play against really good teams. Um, it might not be high scoring affairs. So your defense has to be solid and, and we've got to have a much better showing defensively than maybe we did towards the end of the season. And that's something we've been working on. And I think if we can, if we can be better defensively, then I think we can be okay. You had a little bit of a break after the tournament. Maggie mm -hmm. said the team came back really refreshed. Is that what you saw too? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, you've got the seniors on our team who've played a lot of minutes and logged a lot of time over the course of the season. Um, and then you've got the freshmen who, while they might not have uh, logged as much time physically, you know, the mental, the emotional mm -hmm. uh, challenge of Division One basketball and the length of the season, that starts to wear on you as well. So, um, you know, both – we, the whole team got a chance to come, go home and come back refreshed, both physically and mentally and emotionally. And I think we're uh, char recharged and, and ready to take on the challenge of the NCAA tournament. Your seniors have just been fantastic down the stretch. Mm -hmm. Why has that group been so, so successful? Well, I think they have good chemistry. I think they've taken on uh, the leadership role that's necessary for the team to be successful. And they've all grown. You know, when I, when I think about the senior class, the word that comes to my mind is growth. When I think about where they came in as freshmen and to how they're producing now um, as seniors, they've all just grown tremendously in their roles. They've grown tremendously in their impact on the team and on this program. Um, and so I'm really proud of, of how they're finishing out their careers. You've played at Baton Rouge the past two years. This year you're at home. You have to be excited about the fact you get to sleep in your own bed this week and, and the team gets an opportunity to play in front of these fans. Well, the one thing we knew coming in this room tonight was we aren't going to Baton Rouge. <laughs> That's one place we know we're not going. Um, being able to play at home, we've got great fans. You know, we've got a tremendous fan base here, and, and we know they're going to come out and they're going to be loud and they're going to be, you know, animated. And it's going to just be a, a, gonna be a great tournament atmosphere right here in our own home court. Finally, take the fans through a little bit the type of preparation. You, when you go into a tournament, how do you go about scouting? You know, obviously you need to scout Wichita State, mm -hmm. but the other two teams in the bracket, how do you go about that process? Well, you know, it's kind of like a, a separation. So the coaches are preparing for, you know, all the potential teams we might face, but the team is focused on one team. Mm -hmm. So the team, the players, we're just focused on Wichita State, and that's it. And, you know, the, the thing about the tournament is it's a quick turnaround. So you have to be really well-versed in, in what we have to do as a team. Um, and not so much what other teams are going to do and try to change up a lot of things. You just have to be solid in what you do and confident in, in what, what we can do. And um, we'll focus on Wichita State and what happens after that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it.